Welcome back. As part of Girls Aloud, our next guest is used to being one of five, so Sarah Harding's latest role as one of two should feel like a holiday. Yeah, but it's uh, not as simple as it sounds. Sarah's playing one of two wives married to a bigamist husband. <laughs> we, ch <laughs> we chat, she's laughing now. <laughs> it's your part. <laughs> uh, we're chatting to her in a moment, but first, uh, last year, Sam Mann went behind the scenes and met a few of her co-stars. This morning, take one, action. <laughs> The film has a whole heap of trouble as devilish Danny Dyer has not one but two wives and he has one big problem heading his way as they're about to come face to face. I'm running back and forth uh, across London to try to get these two wives not to meet. So this is complete slapstick and nuttiness. The cast is brimming with the best of British talent with so many legendary faces to spot. Oh, I think so, yes. yes. Famous faces. Oh, well, I would, you'd certainly miss me if you blink. <laughs> you know, everywhere you turn, you go, I oh, know that boat, I know that boat. And if you don't want to miss the boat on this Brit flick, you know what you've got to do. It looks oh. incredible. Welcome. It's lovely to see you, by the way. Nice to these see cameo you. roles, let's talk about these first because the yeah. list is extraordinary. Oh. Um, so we saw um, lovely Maureen Lippman there, yeah. um, and, but you've got people like um, Christopher Biggins, Lionel Blair, Ross Abbott, Richard Bryars, Barry Cryer, Ray Winston, Rolf Harris, Cliff Richard, Andrew Sachs. It's a long Sachs. list. There's so a this massive is incredible. list. Really big. So big what list. were they all doing? Um, they just have little cameos. I mean, even Judy Dench you wouldn't necessarily recognise, but they all have little little bit clips, and, and it's almost like spot the celeb. So what was she? What did how? Was, was I, she, I have to wait Dench? and see, because see if you can. Because I think she, personally, she's unrecognisable. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, but she. she and did you get to meet part. them all, or were they in on other days? It, yeah, some of them were in on other days. Um, I got to meet Andrew Sachs, who's lovely, oh. um, and a few other people. I love June Whitfield. Yes. she's so sweet. So how did this come about? Because obviously, when you were girls, when it all took a bit of a break and you yeah, had a few years yeah, out, yeah. I mean, they all sort of went off, and the girls all did different bits, solo careers, this, that, and the other. But you seem to focus on the acting. I know everyone think, seems to think that I just want to just like take off and be an actress and everything else. I love to act, don't get me wrong, but I love my music. Mm. I'm always going to love my music. I just, you know, it's in my blood. So yeah. what can I say? But, well, we'll yeah. come to that in a minute because you're you're actually going to get to back together again and doing your, uh, yeah, doing your tour. tour yeah. But as far as exciting. this is concerned, so your your hiatus, this break that you had, yeah. meant that you <clears> got into this instead, and mm. it's been very successful for you yeah uh, and and this really is probably the biggest role so far isn't it it's my first lead role and do you know like, the last time I came here to see you guys I actually went for the casting oh, did <laughs> yeah. you? straight afterwards yeah and that's yeah that's when I got the part so let's explain a bit <laughs> the story because originally it was a stage set stage and then it's being yes. it's being adapted for uh, for the big screen yeah. uh, run for your wife it's called now this is a story of John Smith Yes. who is Danny Dyer, and he's a cabbie, isn't he? He's a black cabbie, yeah. and he has got two wives. He's yes. been happily married to both of them for five years. He has None a of them know about each other. Yeah. Um, there's you, and you are... Where do you, you, you're Stephanie. North, you're Stephanie, you're in North London, you're in Fins, Finsbury. Then you've got Michelle, who's played by Denise Van Outen, yeah. and she's down in Stockwell. And all is ticking along very nicely. <laughs> he's getting away with these parallel lives yeah. until he's involved in a mugging. Yes. Am I right? And uh, Judy plays parts in that. Right. Ah. <laughs> so we got it out of you in the end. <laughs> but um, it's hilarious. It's very slapstick comedy. You know, one door opens, another one closes. Um, oh, Biggins and Lionel were hilarious. I mean, it was a laugh a minute on set. And Ray, Ray the director, is absolutely... He's got so much energy. He was the first on set. Last one to leave. Didn't he tell you that acting was like singing, that you needed to... He's always to, jigging around. I want to see you do see. it like this. We can see. We can see. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's lovely. We called him Uncle Ray. <laughs> Really, he really looks nice. Looks like a right character. Yeah, we had such a laugh making that. Honestly. So the premiere is uh, tomorrow night, isn't it, in Leicester Square? It is. Yeah. How yes. do you feel about that? Big Excited. Premiere. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to get the glad rags back. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you've got, as we said uh, a moment ago, you've got the music, which is yeah. looming uh, because yeah. there is a. When does the tour start? It's the 21st, 22nd of February, isn't it, in Newcastle? Yeah, we kick off in Newcastle on the 21st. Mm. Um, we're still in rehearsals at the moment, so we're going straight off How to rehearse after be, here. Does it feel very different to last time around, now you're back together again? Um, I mean, yeah, you've changed anyway. a lot, actually. You've all sort of gone on your own personal journeys, in a way, yeah. so that must feel very different. We've, yeah, we've all kind of had our solo projects and, and other interests that we wanted to pursue. Mm. Um, but it's... 
I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> You're watching yourself. Yeah, no, I just saw that. And, oh, my goodness. Um, but, yeah, no, we've all had our own things going on, but we've all come back. We've grown up a lot more now. So, I mean, we have... I think we're just a little bit more diplomatic and we have a lot more say. We've spoken to... There's many, many bands who uh, we've, we've discussed this with who've had a massive amount of fame, it, it gone into meltdown, all fallen out, <laughs> uh, go off and do other things, come back and then suddenly realise, do you know what, you know, we really should have enjoyed it a lot more than we did. We're older, we're mm, wiser. Mm. You say, I think I read somewhere, you said you were less fiery um, and the whole thing is more honest. Yeah, nowadays I think, yeah, definitely. I mean, back then we were a lot younger, we were known for sort of speaking our minds and I think that's why people liked us. But, I mean, we still do, it's just that we're not so leery. I, mean, I don't yeah. know until I get back on that stage, but... <laughs> yeah, it's all changed. I love a good audience, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and are you living in the country now? You've I moved am. out of London, mm -hmm. and are you loving it? I mean, that must be quite a different way of life for you. I love it. I really do, do love it. I d don't get me wrong, I love to be in London. I moved back to London for a little while. <laughs> Um, but it's too fast-paced for me. I like to go home, just sort of chill out, get the fire on, and I, I've tweeted so many pictures of my dogs. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. Got a vegetable patch. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Really? And well, I'm you're very rock and roll for a vegetable patch, aren't you? I know, I know. I don't know what's happened to me. But um, I also subscribe to the old country life. <laughs> do you? <You're> terrible. <laughs> I know I love to look at houses and things like that. Oh, yeah. me too. <laughs> I'm exactly the same. Um, good luck with the tour. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I and know. Yeah, How this... many dates is it? Is it 23? 20, 20, 20, I think 21 at 21. the moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, well, enjoy it. Yeah, thank enjoy, you. Enjoy. Run for Your Wife, released nationwide on February the 14th. Valentine's Valentine's. Day. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks, right. Thanks for having me.